Hello, everyone. Bit of a different setting, I'd say. Um, so yeah, I am going to be taking part in a community challenge on a Discord server for FM creators that I'm a part of. This year, it is going to be Wolfsburg. Um, I'm really excited for it, and I'm really looking forward to it. There's going to be a few of us doing it, and we'll all be posting videos or following along on Twitter or doing other things like that to tell everybody how our progress is going. And uh, if you want to check on that, I'll be sure to include the Discord link as well as some other uh, links to make sure you can keep track and follow what those guys are doing as well. But I'll be posting videos periodically catching you guys up, probably a month, a monthly recap or so every month that I finish. Um, starting with like beginning of the season and ending of the season and maybe a game here or there um, if we want to. They're going to be short kind of catch-up videos where I'll go over a few highlights and some key games rather than talk through some real games and stuff like that. So yeah. Hope you guys are looking forward to this. I definitely am. Just to give you a quick little understanding of how the challenge works, um, we are having to sign players based off of our scouting recommendations. So we've set up scouts. I've only set up one as of right now because I only want one thing. But he's going to be finding me deep only playmakers. I have to set some other scouts. I also have loads of staff I'm signing and I'm waiting for them to join. So that's happening as well. We currently have just a little bit in the uh, wage, the, the transfer and wage budget. I've increased it to a certain amount because I think it's going to represent the type of player I can get a little better. So I only have around 5.78 to spend, but I have 354k available for me to put into the wage budget, which I think is a little better. Also have a lot in scouting, so we'll be able to get, there's no one right now I've clicked in them all, but we have a good knowledge of the world. The Americas are very heavy. I mean, of course, because of myself, my manager being American. But on top of that, we do have a connection with Orlando City, as well as uh, St. Poland, I believe is how you say that. So, as well as um, Wolfsburg, Switzerland, huh? Oh, and a connection with the river in um, Argentina as well. So that hopefully gives us a good connection there. But yeah, so that's in essence what the challenge is going to be. So to go over the three competitions we have, they're going to be the Bundesliga, the Champions League, and the DFP Pokal. Why are those things not correct? I need to go and fix that, probably because the latest update came out today. That's kind of annoying. Um, yeah, I'll have to fix that one. But yeah, so pretty much those are going to be three competitions. The challenge is going to be based off who finishes the highest or does the best out of each of these three competitions. The winner then will get to choose another challenge, which then I'll also record on this channel as well, so you get to see some more challenges. Hopefully I'm the winner because we'll do some fun challenge. I'm thinking maybe MLS just to mess with those guys, but we'll see. Um, but yeah, so that's kind of in essence how it's going to work. Uh, the team that I've decided to go with is a very ambitious 4-2-4 for the season. I think it'd be a lot of fun just to completely go for it. Fucking gung-ho, all the way attack, all out, do or die by this setup. I think it'd be loads of fun. So that's the idea. We're going to have to sign a deep line playmaker, but as you can see, Excuse me, it is absurdly gung-ho to the fullest, ex the fullest extent. It's just unbelievable, but I'm all for it. I'm thrilled to try it, and I can't wait to give it a shot and see how it goes. So yeah, that's how we're going to, in essence, roll out in terms of the starting 11. Hmm. Sorry. Schedule-wise, I've scheduled loads of friendlies to get us accustomed with the formation. I may build a more defensive formation just in case we need it, depending on how friendlies go. But... Yeah, that is our schedule so far. I mean, for things of note are we have a cup game at our first game. We have a decently mixed schedule to start the season, but um, we have a really, really big game at the end of the year, which I think is going to make things definitely very, very interesting. We also, if you guys didn't notice, in the squad as well, we have several players injured for long periods, like Schlaga, who's very good, uh, Otavio as well as out for a while, and same with William. So we have three guys who probably would be a part of the first team in some capacity, all out for very long extended periods of time, which could be a problem for us going forwards. But hopefully we have the proper replacements and some youth players like uh, Paredes and where's the other guy? Uh, the, the other... Uh, I can't find him. And this guy. So we have some young players in the team as well that'll help help make a difference. But yeah, so I think it's going to be a lot of fun. I'm definitely really excited to get it going and interested and see how it all goes and what's going to happen. So yeah, I really, really hope you guys are interested in doing this as well and we'll follow along with everything that's going on. 
So if you do, remember to like and subscribe because I'll have this video as well as a playlist of all the videos that go along with it on my channel on the front page so you won't be able to miss it. As well as I'll make sure to be posting some Twitter updates as well for you guys so you can stay track on that if you prefer to do that. So thank you so much for watching. Please stay tuned for more awesome videos on this channel for this amazing challenge.